Good day everybody, it is Zelinka, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you for checking me out and I hope you enjoy this video. If you are a regular, hey girl, I gotcha, I gotcha. So today I wanted to do a video of some purchases that I got because I'm so excited anytime that I go and get some meaningful purchases, I just wanna make a video about it because it hardly happens. I have a problem with spending money on my Myself. I am going to be doing a haul video including my Sephora purchase and my Morphe purchase as well to people that I enjoy giving money to. I just spit. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is my Sephora purchase. Here is the best looking bag in the world. Is it backwards? So let's dive on in. I spent a pretty good chunk than I normally do and I'm so excited to dive in and do some swatches for you guys. Now first I always have to pick up these beautiful masks. So Sephora has their own line of facial masks and this one right here is my all time favorite. This is the pearl, uh, what is it, pearl mask and it's infused with white pearl essence. And when I used it the first time, it really brought out my skin, it brightened it up, made it feel so smooth. I love these masks. And I do Masky Fridays, I do them on my Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat, you need to follow me. These were six bucks each. They had a ton of choices. They have a whole end cap of different types. It's so colorful. Um, go and grab some. The next item that I got I wanted to try because I've seen Nikki Tutorials try it. I've seen Manny Mao, Manny MUA try it. Um, this is Smashbox's Primer Water. So the Photo Finish Primer Water. And what you do is instead of putting like a primer cream on your face, you just spray this product on your face and it really hydrates your face. It helps with your makeup uh, application as well. And then you can use it as like a finishing spray also. So I'm actually going to, I think my makeup needs a little touched up. Ooh, in the smell, it's not too strong. It actually smells a bit floral, but not too floral. I'm not a floral fan, but it doesn't smell too floral. So I got this for, I believe, $6. This is just a sample size, and I think this is gonna last for quite a while. It is silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free. So the next item that I got, I wanted to try these out. This is the Too Faced Melted Lip long wear lipstick um, I got this one in let's see melted melon is the color and I'm gonna actually put it on for the rest of the video that's why I wanted to get to it a little early um, so these are how it comes they are like a lip gloss application so if you um, don't like the lipstick, which that's me. I don't like a typical lipstick because I don't get the application right on my lips. I don't know what it is. It just takes time and practice. I love these little applications. So Too Faced has like this felt tip on it. There it is. Look at that. Look at that color, guys. Gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to go put it on. My goodness, guys, this is a gorgeous color. Look at it. I am in love. And this, again, is melted melon. It goes on so smoothly. The smell. I am really big about like smells of lipstick. If they smell too fatty, too oily, too perfumey, I can't handle it. Um, I get really bad headache and, and things like that. This has a scent, but it's not overwhelming and it smells fruity. I am in love. 
And one thing I do like about Too Faced, just by what I've experienced of going to the stores and doing swatches and smelling and trying on the product, is that they all like have this candy smell to them, which is adorable. So I am so excited for this purchase. I'll probably be wearing this tomorrow to work, to my holiday party. Oh. The last item that I got at Sephora is also by Too Faced. Second purchase. This is the B Bior. If I'm saying that wrong, you can correct me if you want to, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So Bior Eyes Soft and Sexy Eyeshadow Collection. Um, one thing that I didn't know about this palette is that it's kind of a, a three-step palette tutorial type thing so the colors in here they all go together and it's kind of helped direct you in what color goes with what shade on your eye so it just kind of steps you uh, gives you a step-by-step -step. so it comes with like this little instruction booklet so it's like a step-by-step -step process instructional booklet in here I don't need it but it might be helpful for you guys if you just want to get these little tiny palettes with a good name brand and um, get started that way. But look at these colors. These are beautiful. So I'm assuming that the process is like these three colors go together, these three colors go together, and these three go together. But I'm going to mix and match. That's just what I do. So satin sheets. Oh, yes. That would make a really good highlight. Beautiful. Then we're gonna do sugar walls. So this one right here. Oh yes, so you got satin sheets, sugar walls right here. Gorgeous. Oh, and then the last one is garter belt. So sensual. My goodness. So those three colors I assume are to go together. Um, like I said, I'm gonna mix and match, but beautiful palette. This was only like 36 bucks, which is why I got it, because I wanted to get a Too Faced palette. I didn't want to take away from what my husband might be getting me for Christmas, which is always chocolate. Really want that chocolate palette, but we'll see what Santa brings me. All right, guys, that is all that I got from Sephora. So now we're moving on to Morphe. Um, I have heard some amazing things about Morphe and their palettes and their brushes. And going on and seeing their um, brush selection, they're not expensive at all. And got a few of the brushes as well because they're not that bad. And they are so freaking soft. I admit it, I have already been using the brushes, I'm sorry, but I've already been using them. I'm just going to go over which ones that I got. The first brush that I got is a powder brush. Oh my gosh, so freaking soft. This is the Morphe M406 and oh my goodness, so soft. I haven't yet used this brush because I don't want to get it dirty because it's just so soft. So this was my first purchase and this is $6.99 on their website. The next item that I got was a Morphe S6 angle brush because I wanted an angle brush to go for the under of the eye and also for the eyebrow formations. Um, so I wanted to get an angle brush. This was actually on sale. I got this for $1.99. And it's a really good angle. Um, pretty sharp. Not good for eyeliner though. That was the initial purchase for this brush is to help me with gel eyeliner. Um, but this is actually a too thick of a tip to do eyeliner with. So that's out of the question but it actually gets a really deep smoke under the eye the last brush that i got i had to get a blending brush manny mua always uses morphe 
blending brushes so I wanted to get myself one this is the morphe e23 brush blending brush and I have used it for a few days now and I love it so this is the eye that I did today it blends so smoothly the brush is so soft I love it I am now addicted to morphe brushes and they're not expensive guys they're not Morphe was having a sale on their gel eyeliners, so I got a couple of them. Um, this gel eyeliner is a color of Smash, and it's kind of a metal uh, metallic look to it. Beautiful color. So my memory card got full. I had to delete a bunch of stuff, so we are back, even though you didn't know we went anywhere. Anyway, continuing. So the next gel eyeliner that I got is in the color Dusk and I was drawn by this color just because of how beautiful blue it is. Look at that blue guys. These gels were only 99 cents so go try them out. The last item that I have is my very first Morphe palette. I'm so excited. I did use it today. That is the eye that you're seeing right now and I love the eyeshadow so I was able to do a couple looks with it already but I'm acting like I'm opening it for the first time. One thing I want to commend Morphe on is their wrapping. I was so nervous because I've had eyeshadows sent to me before and they come shattered. But Morphe really makes it a point of putting fragile all over their box and to make sure that they bubble wrap their palettes. Look at it, it's so beautiful. It's gorgeous and they haven't even opened it yet. So this is the palette 35W, which is their warm, warm uh, eyeshadow palette. And the colors are beautiful. I know that you're picking out a few of your own right now. Like, my goodness, I can't get over how gorgeous these colors are. So this palette comes with shimmer and also comes with matte. Today I did kind of an orangey um, look rendition. So uh, these are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna swatch a few of them for you so you can kind of see how easily they come on. And they go on so smooth. I don't get any um, after shed, what is it called? fallout I don't get any fallout with these which are pretty amazing look how oh my goodness that is this color look at that guys beautiful I actually used that on my eyelid right there um, just to add kind of a, a shine to the eye these palettes, my goodness, I got this one for $22.99 and I can't stand it. I just can't. And these are a few of the swatches of this palette. Um, once I get uh, some time, I will definitely be doing a eye makeup using this Morphe palette, but oh my goodness gracious me oh my god anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video please do hit a big old fat like if you did that lets me know that you enjoyed it comment down below on what you want to see next fun fact of the day the horse's name is bob in the song jingle bells listen to it and you shall see make sure you subscribe on your way out i hope you guys are having a fantabulous holiday and i will see you guys in the next video bye